friends, welcome to Play It Meow. My name is Stephanie, and today we're going to continue our playthrough of Oxygen Not Included. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining the chaos. Um, oh yeah, and something else I haven't really talked about is um, the plants. So the pips can be really great because when, like, when I'm planting this, there's these certain things I have to do to maintain them, but these plants that the pips plant, you can see additional domestic growth. I don't have to fertilize that one. I don't have to really do anything to it because it was planted in dirt. It wasn't planted on like a little farm tile. Same with this arbor tree. I don't have to, it takes 70 kilograms of polluted water every cycle. I don't have to do anything to it. Same with the fertilization. It just needs the air and a, bo a good body temperature and off it goes. So that's really positive. Um, it can be nice if you want to get rid of some stuff to use it that way, but I mean, yeah, it is great that we don't have to worry about maintaining any of these. I might, um, I might uproot some of these then if we're, uh, since we have them planted up here maybe, but I don't know. I'll let it go for now. I'm not worried about it at the moment. I'll worry about other stuff. Okay, let's look at our... Nice. Okay, so we're starting to get... It's kind of slow going because my electrolyzer is down here. Um, but we are starting to see that oxygen trickle up here. The And the hydrogen gas is up here now. Uh, so we're going to probably... I'll probably have to build one of the... Um, oh, that researched fast. I probably have to build a what to call a gas pump, uh, and we'll get to storing some gases in places. All right, liquid pipe germ sensor. All right, let's research that. Let's see if we can figure out how to make that happen. Um, I also want to go down here. I want to make friends with the poke shells, and I want to get into this kind of colder area. Ooh, over here too. Oh, nice. All right, and I wanna know what that is. What's this? What's, whenever you see neutronium, you know there's gonna be like a, either like some sort of geyser or something there. So I'm kind of curious what that is. So let's, let's investigate. I don't wanna do too many things, but I feel like we can make that happen without too much, too many problems. Um. Oof, we've got stuff trapped in here. I might just... Mm, might just do this real quick. Might just deconstruct that, let some of this nice oxygen and, you know, some of that hydrogen gas come up. And then I might let some of this carbon dioxide and chlorine gas come down. I could put a little pump in here and pump it out, but... Um, oh, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm also going to lock this door so that they use these doors up here. Just in case there's, because we're really close to where that chlorine is, just to keep some of that gunky gas out of there. Is it working? It's working, yeah, okay. So some of the stuff is falling down here, getting out of there, just slowly. <laughs> Doodle D duplicate, that's so cute. Okay, duplicate skills, do we have anybody? No, level up faster. I need to have you do things. That is something else that we can do now. Tables. Maybe we could... Ooh, a smart storage bin. Stores this. Uh, well, that's also negative 10. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. Let's do it in granite so that negative 10 plus 20, we get a plus 10. Just put it over there for them to put their table salt in. What was I saying? I don't remember what I was talking about before I got distracted by table salt, but it was very important. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Specializing people. <laughs> so we could go through and start cycling people through the skill scrubber so that they really kind of only focus on one or two things, but um, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that later. All right, advanced medical care. You get the fanciest hat, my friend. You get the big red band-aid hat. <laughs> All right, chlorine gas, get out of here. Ain't nobody need you. Oh, something else. Yeah, so aren't these insulated tiles so nice? So our duplicates are gonna be nice and cozy in here, but we have this. This is just hot. And all this water that we got is hot down here. So 
need something to be cooling them off, but we'll get there. Um, maybe I will. Maybe I will swap this out for, um, where is this? Is there slow heating? Igneous rock is slow heating. Yeah, we can do that. Let's swap you out here. I feel bad. Kind of bad for... I mean, then if we go in here, it's just going to be scalding, but it's going to be scalding anyway. <laughs> okay, so we have that sensor. Uh, man, the music just got super intense. I'm going to dig a little... Yeah, I'm going to dig some of this out, just so this yucky air that's coming down here is just going to have somewhere else to go so it cleans this out a little faster. Um, and then what were we going to do? Germ pipe sensor. Ah, oh, that takes plastic too. Man, we really are going to have to go into the oil area soon. Yep, that takes plastic. But the gas element sensor doesn't. Okay, this will be fine. Ah, oh my gosh, I did not want to build three. I clicked the wrong button. Stop what you're doing. Nobody help me. <laughs> Nobody do this. <laughs> All right. As you were. <laughs> okay. That's also nice. You have this little copy button so that if you click something and then just made an absolute mess of yourself, uh, and then you have to take it away, <laughs> you can just click the copy button and it's like, oh, okay. Was there something else you were doing? All right. So I'm going to build it right here. So this gas element sensor, so that... Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to build it there. So that when it senses... Nope, 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 stop it! I messed up again. I appreciate your jumping right on my orders, but chill for a sec. Okay, so that when it senses carbon dioxide here, it's going to turn on the carbon skimmer. So we need to have automation connecting this, and then we need to hook up our wire to run through that. Okay. And then we can take away this switch. Okay. So we got that all set up. It took me forever to figure out how to set up the whole automation stuff. And maybe it's because I wasn't watching little tutorial videos that popped up. Oh, Jean is so happy. She, her eyes are only white. <laughs> she has no pupils anymore. <laughs> But it took me forever to figure out how to set this up, so I just wanted to take the time to just say, like, okay, this is how we're doing it. Look, she's even got sparkles! <laughs> um, I wasn't sure... I'm still, yeah, I'm still not sure quite how to set up the... Oh, that's gonna fill up really fast. Okay, I wasn't quite sure how to set up the gas one, um, the germ pipe sensor, but we'll, we'll experiment, we'll figure it out. If we end up with contaminated water, you know, it's all part of the journey. <laughs> Um, okay, so while that is doing in there, I'm just going to slow it down a little bit. I'm going to... I'm going to deconstruct this here. Because I, because we're going to start filling up this with the yucky water again. And I don't want it to immediately filter it out until the germs are taken care of. So we're just going to disconnect it. I'm not going to disconnect all these pipes, you know. Because we're going to have to build them again. So just going to deconnect disconnect that. <laughs> Deconnect. <laughs> Deconnect that. Alright, and then what I'm gonna do is deconstruct that part. And then... We can do that. So we're gonna say, okay, fill up this one, and then when this one gets full, start to, start to fill up that. Okay. Some, something that somebody had suggested was you could like daisy chain these so that you could go in and then have this one filter into this one and then this one filter into another one and you did all that in chlorine gas and if you did it in, with enough time of it just kind of like cycling through then the germs got killed but I feel like I'm not knowledgeable enough to know exactly how to how to do that but um but yeah, maybe when we get the, when we get plastic and then we can build the, um, where was it? 
Where is it? The germ sensor thing that I was looking at. Oh, I bet it was in plumbing. Yeah, the liquid pipe germ sensor. When I get plastic and when I'm able to build that, then maybe we can hook it up to hook it up to automation there. I like using doors at the bottom to do that. Oh, okay. Did you use the automation wire? Yeah, I haven't used the automation wire yet for this stuff. I feel like we don't have um I don't have the plastic to make the the this stuff yet. To to hook it up. What what are these guys doing? <laughs> what are they doing? Okay, maybe I need to dig this out a little more to save them because they're just they're having a time. All right, let's dig this out. Let's put one of our poor little duplicates in peril <laughs> by sending them into the the yucky the yucky water. All right, uh, sand. Okay, <gasps> we made it down here. We made it down to the poke to the poke shells. Hello. Something that's nice about them is they um is they like to eat like gross, polluted nastiness, isn't it? Oh, oh, he just, he went to the bathroom on my plants. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, yeah, they're one of the ones that you can feed. Ah, I just clicked the wrong thing. Uh, they're one of the ones that you can feed when you have that. Yeah, they eat rot pile and polluted dirt. Gross. But that's another way we can get rid of our stuff. Ooh, did we, did that filter out? Uh, they're kind of stuck in the sides. All right, we can do this. I just heard somebody go. What? What did they do? So gas element sensor. Okay, so this one. Let's go to carbon dioxide. So then, if it sit, senses carbon dioxide, it'll turn this on. I think I have that hooked up correctly. Fingers crossed. Let's see. Let's build this a little bit. Let's dig this out a little bit to some more of our... Oh, Jean is, just, Jean is just the happiest worker. She is here to work. Oh, look how much ice and cold there is here. <gasps> Anti-entropy thermo nullifier. Ooh, a self-sustaining machine powered by what appears to be refined neutronium absorbs and neutralizes heat energy when provided with piped hydrogen gas. Oh, okay. So that's what we can use some of our hydrogen gas for is we can pipe it into this thingy and then it keeps things cold. Well, that is nice. We might have a problem with heat at some point here if we're not careful. Ugh. Well, that's a little better. It contained some of that. Yeah, this water down here is just ridiculously hot. So maybe we'll build some ice or something. I don't know. We'll do something. Oh, this is all full. Okay, so now that this is full, it's starting to spill over into here. Let's see. Oh, there's a lot of germs. Oh, it's going up. Oh, because there's carbon dioxide down here maybe, and so. This is one of the best map seeds I've ever seen. It is really good. I got really lucky, I think. Yeah, we've got this water stuff here. We're really close to this area. We're we're close to the ice. We've got, we just got great resources, nothing crazy. We don't have any weird like um, carbon dioxide geysers and, and whatnot. And you're actually kind of close to the oil. Um, yeah, I wanted to try and figure out a way to get into here, but I need to do something with all this polluted water. Maybe I can relocate these fishies into this water. Um, and then I can maybe pump this water somewhere? I feel like this is all diseased. Oh yeah, this is all diseased because I was dumping gross water into here. Sounds easy, don't it? Yeah, right? <laughs> it's way easier said than done, I think. <laughs> Especially with me. Oh no, they're so hot. They're so hot. It's so hot over here. Okay, I need to figure out a way. Oh. All right. For some reason, all the chlorine gas decided to come down here now and just instantly killed all of the germs. All right, well, you know, I'm just gonna be happy with that. Oh, we got more blueprints. Man, we already got three blueprints this time. That's insane. I feel like sometimes I get none and then that's great. It's great that it's doing it on stream. Oh, <gasps> bubblegum shoes. A fresh 
pair of bubblegum pink shoes that go with everything. Heck yeah, they do. We should dress up our little duplicates. We have not done that yet. Ah, I also have printables available. Omelet. Ooh. Rust. That's one of the biomes that we don't have in this one. We don't have a rust biome, which is fine. Um... Allergic to floral scent. Oh boy, you're not gonna like it here. We got all the flowers. Uh, I don't think we need. All right, let's just do omelet. <gasps> Look, they all have table salt now. Well, almost all of them. Let's put our table salt here. Table salt. Table salt. Hooray! Jean's just not, never going down. She's just always up. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. This pip is glum. Why are you glum? We'll produce less materials as a result. What materials are you talking about it producing? Um, happiness. Okay, because it's tame, it's unhappy. We'll go to your little critter condo, my friend. Look, look at this. We have this little critter condo right here. It's so fuzzy and you will be cozy if you go there. So go there, don't just, it's like a chihuahua, right? It's just sitting there shaking. <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> There's a pet bag! I'm gonna incubate it. Incubate! I said at the beginning of this stream we were gonna have all the pips and all the little shine bugs and all the little animals. Oh, I forgot to speed it up. Okay. Uh, Otto. What is your life like? Okay, you know what, Otto? You. Eh, it's not gonna stress him out too much. It's gonna be morale, morale 15, morale need 14. I don't know. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Otto, you can wear exosuits and you can farm. Oh, I forgot to level up the other friends. But what kind of pips? Oh, we just have the regular, we just have the regular pips. But then soon, maybe we can have cuddle pips. Cuddle pips are adorable. I love them, they're so cute can't wait. Maybe we should find the creature, what is it? What is it, the creature converter or the creature researcher or something? Something to do with creatures. Ooh, we just got mechatronics engineering. This is gonna be the best episode ever. <laughs> oh, we have another doctor. Well, you know what? I'm going to have you specialize in aesthetic design. Do I have, do I already have a one with that hat? I don't think I have one, a friend with that hat. Aesthetic design. What? It's thimble reeds for the pips. Oh, you feed them thimble reed seeds. Okay. You feed them thimble reed seeds, and then the pips lay cuddle pip eggs. Okay. Yeah, let's check out their diet. What do they... Oh, cuddle pip egg, per chance. 24%. <gasps> what are... Or arbor tree branches. Oh, okay. So if they eat the thimble reeds, then their chance of having the cuddle pip eggs, if they eat the arbor trees... Probably mealwood is for making the Drecos glossy. <gasps> oh, I'm learning so much. Thank you. Oh yeah, so right now they're eating the balm lily seeds and they're in and so they're just getting more of the same. But if I feed them mealwood seeds and I get them in hydrogen gas, I have so much hydrogen gas. <laughs> Come here, little Drecos. All right, we're gonna put, you know, you know what we could do? We could make like an area up here for all the hydrogen gas because their little fuzzles grow in hydrogen gas, right? Let me enter the hydrogen gas. Yeah, yeah, are they non-hostile creatures? Their backsides are covered in thick woolly fibers that only grow in hydrogen climates. Yeah, yeah, so we can put them up here with all the hydrogen gas. We can plant a bunch of mealwood seeds. We can get the glossy drecos. We can harvest them for plastic. Oh my gosh. We are just, we have a plan. We have a plan. All right, number one, let's move these little friendos. If you click the critter and scroll down to egg stats and hover over it, it will tell you the requirements. <gasps> I did not realize that. Thank you so much. I'm so appreciative. I love it when people give me tips and ideas and stuff because I feel like I just kind of, you know, just stumble along sometimes. <laughs> plans! Hooray! Yes! Thank you! I'm so excited for the plans! All right, this guy just, yeah, he's just freaking out, man. Can we move you somewhere else? Can we help you in some way? <gasps> Look! 
I never... Look, is that an ear tag? Is that an ear tag on it because it's tame now? <gasps> is that what that is? This one... Do you have a little ear tag? You do! You have a little ear tag! Do all the tame ones have ear tags? So this is wild. Has no ear tag. This one also wild. No ear tag. We have a stone hatchling egg. Well, you gotta wait because the incubator's busy. Are any of these? So, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I didn't realize that either. All right, all right, I got all distracted by the ear tags. Okay, so Cuddle Pip Egg. <gasps> Eats Thimble Reap. You guys are geniuses. You are. We are just gonna have the most amazing base and we're gonna have all the animals and all the friends. Okay, here we go. So, one, two, three, four, there. That's what we'll do. One, two, three, four, duh. And I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna replace all the flooring so that the little pips can plant the things up there. And then I won't have to maintain them. This is still red. I feel like there's carbon dioxide down here. Well, maybe it's just down here and it's not right here. Oh, it worked. It worked for a second. Hooray. Okay, our plan is working. All right, little poke shell. What are you about you? Do you turn into, oh yeah, okay, Pintro. The oak Pintro dwells in ethanol. Ooh. Sani Pintro dwells in water. What's a Sani Pintro? My friend, can I move you? I'm gonna move you. We're gonna have you dwell in water. Which water? Should we have hot water or cold water? Well, tepid water, I guess. The Sani is awesome. I have never seen this. I've never seen it. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, the materials overlay is so bad. <laughs> This guy's gonna be happy in the hot water. Do we put the do we put the pintro in the hot water or the medium water or does it not matter? I don't want to kill it. Properties melting point. Well, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> we're not gonna melt it. But I wonder if there's a if there's a thing. If we can, yes, yeah, you can wrangle this. Where's the little? Where's the? Don't I have a book? Where's the book? Oh yeah, entries in my database. Uh, critters. Okay, oak shells. Uh, oh, it's so precious. I've never seen a sandy shell. I kind of don't want to spoil it. I kind of don't want to spoil it. I don't want to see what it looks like until it happens. But then I can't read up about it and make sure I don't kill it. Uh. Okay, we have other poke shells just in case everything goes sideways. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna experiment on you. I, you know what? Maybe I should put it in here because if it lays an egg, then it's just gonna go bonkers and kill everything around it. Um, I don't want it to kill these fish. If you click on the critter, there's a book by their name. Uh, oh, I can just go right to it instead of clicking out here. I can go right to it. Okay, comfort range 15 to 70. Livable range, negative 30 to 100. Okay. Well, this is... So they could live down here. I'm just worried about them killing the fish, honestly. Because one time I had them in a... I had... In one of the games I played, I had them um, up here. And I was like, okay, well, as long as I, you know, don't have any of my duplicates near it. So I ha was letting other critters around it. And it freaked out. Oh, <gasps> look at the baby. The precious baby is so cozy. But yeah, I had other critters around it and it freaked out and started killing other, other animals. And let me tell you, I was not happy about that. That pip, not that pip, that poke shell. Um, it was very quickly liquidated. <laughs> they aren't happy when their eggs are around. Yeah, seriously. It just like lost its mind and started murdering everything. And so I had to put it down. And then just everybody was unhappy after that. Okay, my friend, let me try to move you because I feel like you are just having a hard time. Okay. Let's, let's figure this out. How can we help you? That's so weird. In one of the other videos, I don't remember which... I don't remember what number it was or whatever, but in one of the other videos, there was a there was a pip that was like over here, and it was just like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and just losing its mind, and that just turned into meat. <laughs> it was so sad. 
<gasps> Our Pope Shell is down here. Hopefully they can't get out. If they can, I'm gonna build a little wall for them. Or like a little door here so that they can't, so that they can't leave. I feel like it's gonna be trapped, right? I don't think it can jump off. I don't think, they won't use ladders. They can't climb on walls. It'll be fine. It'll be so fine. Uh, I say, famous last words, it's fine. <laughs> Let's, oh yeah, I'm gonna make my little hydrogen area. I have so many plans. I have so many fun things I wanna do. You guys have helped me so much and I'm just getting all distracted with all the funness. Okay, I just need to focus. like a dupe it can jump two tiles high oh good okay so yeah so you're not getting out of that unless you've learned tools looking for food oh yeah I'm gonna need to build a little feeder in here for them we are gonna get rid of all our little polluted nonsense oh yeah and then I have another pip that learned mechatronics so that I can build these conveyor things I'm gonna need to start a list I'm gonna need to start writing stuff down because <laughs> I have so many things that I wanna do all of a sudden, and it's just, okay. Is it in the food or in the station? No, it's in food, critter feeder. Okay, here, we'll put it right here so that our pip, or pips, I keep saying pips, I'm obsessed with the pips, so that our duplicates can hang out on the ladder and put stuff into here and don't have to go into the death zone. We're gonna call this the death zone. Okay, what are your chances now? Sandy pins row 11%! Woo woo, all right. I am so thankful for everyone that has hopped on, for everyone that is helping me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> vomiter, <laughs> stress reaction vomiter. There's nothing a May can't do if she sets her mind to it. Um, all right, and we're still gonna, I think we're just still gonna stick with our little 10 friends. We're doing okay for now. Duplicate skills, Abe. Abe can also learn astronomy. You're into demolition and astronomy. Nice. Why is this mealwood? This mealwood is not happy. I think because it's hot over here right now. Well, it's all right. It's okay. All right, we were going to... Okay, we built that for them. I wanted to get into the cool area. Um, we also wanted to come up here. Okay, so we've got these friends building the area up here. I'm going to put pneumatic doors so that we can trap our little Drecos in here. Not trap, confine them. So we can safely enclose them in there. That's taking a long time to incubate. Oh, 78%, I guess. Okay, well, we're getting there. All right, so while we're doing that, let's see if we can't break into this area over here. And then we'll even have more bleach stone. That'll be fun. Wasn't I doing something here? Ah, yes. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't I also doing this? I was. And this and this. Are you... Are you working? Are you helping? Are you... Can I help you in some way? Uh, oh, that's the... Ugh, oh, I'm so silly. I put it... No, I did. This is the out. This is the out. Going in here into the this. What do you need? What do you, why aren't you working? Okay, there's power here. You're hooked up to power. You're hooked up to water. Why aren't you, oh, it's because this, oh, it was that silly thing that I was talking about last time, where if this doesn't have just like one little piece of pipe going into the inn, then it doesn't work. So we just have to do that. There, and it doesn't even have to be built. <laughs> just as long as we have that, now suddenly, all the yucky water will come out and it'll be clean. That is such a strange mechanic. But once we get this automated, it'll be so much better. My friend, you are going to come up here to our little sanctuary. Look, we already have a mealwood plant up here waiting for you. We have two mealwood plants up here. I'm gonna take this bristle blossom out. Okay, all our hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas. I can't even say hydrogen gas. All of our hydrogen, hydrogen gas will come up here. I might do a little airflow tile here. 
to help it along so stuff doesn't get trapped. <laughs> Somebody just growled. Like, Rah! Oh, that hatch. Okay, let's make this a little higher, maybe. Here. And this. Let's do that. So now, what we need to do is I need to get rid of, I'll leave the mealwood seeds, but I'm gonna get rid of the other seeds so that the pips want to build, to want to plant the mealwood seeds. I don't think mealwood seeds can, I don't think they grow in hydrogen gas, so we'll just have to be careful. Let's see. Oxygen or polluted oxygen or carbon dioxide. Okay, so we'll just have to be careful to make sure that this whole thing doesn't fill with hydrogen gas that has a little bit of oxygen down here for the friends. I'm gonna shut this off for now until, um, oh no, he has a yucky lungs. Um, I'm gonna shut this off for now until the gas kind of regulates. Oh, <gasps> little baby, welcome, welcome to our little house. Hello, friend. Oh, off you go into the world. We shall groom you later. Oh, it's eating thimble reeds. I want a cuddle pip. I want a lot of cuddle pips. Okay, I love that tip. I had no idea that that's how you figured out how to get the different variations. So excited. 